Hey guys, it's Mio and this week I'm actually going to show you guys how I put together this crazy pop and cook set. As you can see here, the food here is supposed to be, I think, festival food of what you would see in a Japanese festival. So starting from the right side, you'll see some corn on the cob, chocolate covered bananas, I think this is some type of strawberry dessert, and some fries. If you are new to the Crazy Pop and Cook sets, you can buy these little sets for about four to six dollars at a local Japanese shop, and you can put together these cute little foods. The kit has everything you need, and it's actually all edible. So if you stay tuned, you'll see me not only create this, but you'll see my daughter actually eat and test try out all the different items. So for more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and do check out my social media websites such as Instagram and Twitter and you can get kind of previews of things to come. And of course, if you want more frequent updates, you can check out my personal Instagram account which is Pink Washing and it has a few more updates of my personal life. So let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. So for this project, you're going to need a Creasy Pop and Cook kit. I bought this at Daiso, but it actually was more than $1.50. It was probably closer to $5 if I remember correctly. And I've never seen this kit before, so I think it's a new re release. And when you open it up, this is what you get inside. If you're new to Creasy Pop and Cook, you'll notice that when you pop everything out, you kind of get a plastic container that's going to be your mold, several different packets that's going to make the food, and a few accessory items. So this is what your mold looks like. Go ahead and cut along the lines and you'll end up with four pieces to put all your food together. I'm gonna to start by making the strawberry goods. You're gonna take the red packet and pour the contents into the rectangular mold. And you're gonna take your little measuring cup, which is your little tiny triangle piece of plastic, and pour two scoops of water into your red powder. And then you're gonna take the little spoon that comes with your kit and mix it all together until it has a nice gel consistency. When you're done mixing, just pour it into the mold that has the two little circles. Just leave it there and move on to the fries. I'm using the green packet here and you're going to pour the contents again into a different mold. This one has ridges on the bottom to form the fries. Pour the contents in and again take your little triangle scooper and scoop one scoop of water into this mixture. You'll notice that mixing this will be a little bit more difficult because it's a little more powdery, but just continue with it. When you're done, press the contents into the mold until you have a nice even layer. When you flip the content out, you'll notice that you have a nice rectangular piece of, I guess, yellow material that has little ridges. You should have a pink little spoon that comes with your kit, and you're going to use the edge of the spoon to cut down and slice up your fries. When you're done, take your fries and put them aside so you can work on something else. Now let's move on to the corn. You're gonna take the blue packet, and this actually has sprinkles, and the sprinkles come in the shape of little yellow balls, and you're gonna place this in the grid right next to the little red, I guess, dessert that you created earlier. You're only gonna place half of them into the little mold, and you're gonna shake it until the sprinkles kinda of cover the first layer of the mold. There should be a rectangular piece of yellow taffy in your kit. Cut this in half with your little spoon, and this is gonna form one of your corn on the cobs. You're gonna take this yellow taffy and roll it into a cylinder. I'll be honest, this is the hardest part of this entire kit because I couldn't get all the sprinkles to stick on. So I kinda did it this way because I tried it the original way, which is to make it to flatten into one rectangle and kinda have it roll into a piece of corn, but the sprinkles kept coming off. So I tried it this way and I think the sprinkles stick on a little bit better, but again, it's not really perfect or ideal. So just kinda roll your little cylinder into the sprinkles and try to collect as many sprinkles as you can. So this is what my corn on the cob looks like, and this is only one of them. Your kit should have enough for you to create two. Now for the favorite part of my tutorial here is actually to create the chocolate covered bananas. Take the yellow packet, pour your contents into one of the square containers used for mixing, and then put water in it, mix it up until you have a really good doughy consistency. Go ahead and pick up your dough and just place it into the banana mold, which is right next to the little strawberry things that you created earlier. You should have enough contact to create three bananas, and you'll notice that your kit actually comes with the toothpicks. So once you take your banana out, you can go ahead and put the toothpick into your banana so that you can dip it into your chocolate. For the chocolate syrup, you have a brown bag that has the chocolate contents. Put this into one of your small mixing bowls. Take a small, little cup of water and mix all your contents until you have a chocolate syrup. 
and let me tell you, it not only smells like chocolate, but it tastes like chocolate syrup. I'll say the banana actually has a banana consistency too, but it's kind of like a candy banana rather than an actual banana. So the best part, of course, is to put the chocolate on your banana. I only covered the top part of it so that you can see the bottom part of the banana, but you can cover the entire banana with chocolate if you want. And your packet should also come with some sprinkles, which comes in different colors and sizes, and you can sprinkle this all over your bananas. Now to put everything together, your original packet actually has a little french fry holder. Just take a pair of scissors and cut it out. Just fold it into a cone and you're going to need a piece of tape to hold the contents together. Go ahead and pack each individual fry into your little container until it's just busting out and it looks just like it does on the box. Now the kit also has a background display for it to look more like a festival and you can definitely use this if you want and you can display all the foods on here. So you can put your corn on the cobs on it, the fries, put the bananas where the banana prints are. Now for little strawberry dessert things, you do have extra toothpicks to peel out the little strawberry things you created earlier and you can put this on display as well. So that's really fun, but I really wanted to redo the display because I think I could do better. So I created a small little board to display my little food items and kind of put the box nearby. So that's kind of how I ended up with this display here. All of the foods here are edible and they actually taste very similar to what you expected to, except for the corn on the cob does not taste like corn on the cob and the fries do not taste like fries. Everything here is sweet. So if you're looking for something savory, this is not the pop and cook kit that you should be tasting. If you do, you should do the hamburger fries one. That one has some savory food. So let's go ahead and move on to the tasting part. Oh. Hi Lexi, you wanna try this? I bet you don't know what this is. How about we start with miniature corn? Do you like it? Like it? More? More? <laughs> Good, huh? Let's try this little treat. It has like a strawberry gelatin flavor to it. Don't eat the toothpick. Whenever you're ready. You like it? Do it. It is trash, thank you. I need the... You want this one? This yes. is a chocolate banana. Mmm, you like it? Actually, it does taste like chocolate and it has like a candy banana flavor. You like it? And one? Another one? What do you say? Beat. Please. Here you go. Say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. These fries that don't taste anything like fries. Tastes like candy. Sweet candy. You like it, Lexi? Nope, she must like it because she's going for seconds. All right, that's the end of this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. For more videos like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And of course, do check my other social media websites, such as Instagram and Twitter, and you can also check out my personal Instagram account, Keep Blushing, that has more frequent updates. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.